What's up, Pittsburgh Steelers fans? Welcome to this special podcast surrounding the Pittsburgh Steelers and today, Halloween, the 31st of October, which is the deadline for the National Football League's trades. So trades had to be wrapped up by 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That time came, that time went, and the Steelers stayed put. They did nothing. Now, that doesn't mean that there weren't several rumors swirling around the internet, and there were. And there was a lot of talk about Jalen Johnson, who was a cornerback from the Chicago Bears. A lot of people heard the rumors. He wanted out of Chicago. He's in the final year of his current contract. And they saw the Steelers as a potential good fit for a player like that. Now, the Steelers would have had to not just trade some draft capital, as well as they'd have to figure out a way to pay the guy, because again, he's in the final year of his current contract. I don't know if this even came close to happening, coming to fruition, but I will say that I can't imagine that the Chicago Bears, out of all the teams, all 31 other teams in the NFL, I can't imagine that the Bears were ready or willing to really do business with Omar Khan. Think about it. Chase Claypool trade. Think about how they had to feel when they were at the 23 NFL draft and they're seeing Chase Claypool not doing anything. He's not even on the team anymore. And the Steelers were selecting 32nd overall, the first pick in the second round. That had to leave a very bad taste in their mouths. So this year, the Bears have another player that they're thinking about shopping. The Steelers might say, hey, we will consider trading for this guy. What if we sent you a fourth or maybe a fifth round pick? They might say, we're not falling for this again. We're not falling for this again. Or if Omar Khan wanted to throw out a conditional pick, depending on how the team played out. This isn't about whether the cornerback the Steelers wanted to acquire was worth that. This might be all about whether the team the Steelers wanted to negotiate with was willing to actually hear them out. There were never any rumors that I heard of that the Steelers were getting ready to shop someone. Uh, There were some people saying that, you know, even uh, the wide receiver from Chicago, Mooney, was also being on the trade block. Again, I don't think the Bears were probably willing to be trade partners with the Steelers. I get it. I get it. You you know, you you get burned by a team so many times, like it it makes sense that you don't want to necessarily do it again. At the same token, like again, I thought that the Steelers could actually be sellers if someone calls about Dan Moore or someone calls about uh, one of the many players that they might have that are depth pieces that they feel like they could part ways with. Nonetheless, the Steelers do nothing. They they, They don't trade anyone. They don't acquire anyone. They are basically saying, hey, status quo, we are sticking with it. Now, there's a lot of the fan base already that's saying, I can't believe this. I can't believe that the Steelers have done nothing, nothing. And if they've done nothing, then what's going to change? No changes. You can't expect any change, right? Well, the Steelers either didn't like some of the deals that they were offered or they weren't willing to part with the capital uh, for next year in terms of the draft or financial terms that were going to have to be made. Either way you slice it, that's what happened. So a lot of Steelers fans are taking a negative look at this. They didn't do anything. What the heck? What's going on? As for me, I didn't want them to make a move. I didn't want them to make a move. I didn't want them trading future draft stock. They need to get picks, not get rid of picks. They need to build for the future. Because right now, I don't think any Steeler fan going into week nine feels like they are a Super Bowl contender in 2023. Therefore, you don't make those big time moves. You don't make those big earth shattering trades. You don't make those Minka Fitzpatrick moves where you send a first round pick. Not right now. I don't agree with that at all. The Steelers stayed pat. And while a lot of fans are upset, I'm actually quite content. So take that for what it's worth. I do want to remind everyone to check us out on our audio platform, search steel curtain network. You'll hear my podcast. Let's ride. We have coming up, uh, getting ready for the Thursday night game in week nine against the Tennessee Titans. I'll have the behind the enemy line segment, which will also air on our YouTube channel probably Thursday morning, but make sure you check out all of our podcasts there as well. Wherever you get your podcasts or Steelers or Steel Curtain Network, as well as check out SteelCurtainNetwork.com. We'll be doing live streams on Facebook, Twitter, and right here on YouTube, no matter what. I'm Jeff Hartman, the Steel Curtain Network podcaster and writer. We'll see you next time.